Chamber of Commerce. It is my, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce Walk of Fame Ceremony. The Chamber transforms business and improves the livelihood of communities. Today, we are celebrating a business that transforms us, show business. Show business is a unique blend of art and business. It is beyond entertainment. It elevates and inspires us all. That is why we are here today, and it is why we are so proud to host you on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Before we start, I would like to give a shout out to our fans watching around the globe on our live stream, presented by our media partner, Variety. Today, Hollywood honors Keenan Thompson. Voice to the animated films 
Trolls World, World Tour, Wonder Park, The Smurfs, The Smurfs 2, and Space Chicks. Last year he launched Artists for Artists, a full service production company. He also hosts the weekly pop culture podcast, You Already Know, with co-host Tani Moroi, and he will be the host of the 2022 Emmy Awards. directors, producers, crew members, my fellow castmates, and especially the man we're here to honor today, Keenan Thompson. Uh, brother, we made it this far. We all know for kid actors, that's pretty rare. When we were kids, Keenan had this confidence, this sureness about him. You got the sense that he knew who he was already. So many of us spend years trying to discover who we are, defining what makes us unique and special, and it seemed like from the outside looking in, he just had that. If you're not in this business, you might not realize how rare that is. With each character Keenan brings to life, no matter the funny voice he uses or the impression he's doing, there's just a little bit of Keenan, right? It's like a glint in his eye, there's a slight smirk on his face to let you know he's in on the joke. And that, is, that character is undoubtedly him. And I think it, the, that tip of the cap is what makes him so brilliant. And maybe the audience, without even knowing it sometimes, can relax because they know they're in the capable hands of a true professional. Yes, Every time Keenan takes the stage, it's a master class in comedy. <laughs> and even when we hang out now after 30 years, he's still the same guy I've always known him to be. Loving, kind, loyal, generous, grounded, present, and of course, hilarious. <laughs> he genuinely connects with his friends, castmates, and crew members. That's why everyone who knows him and works with Keenan loves him. I've now been able to watch him become the most loving father to his two girls, Georgia and Jana. <laughs> Keenan is one of those Keenan is one of those rare breeds where his level of talent is matched by the type of human being he is. Keenan, I consider you more than a friend. At this point, we are family. We are brothers. I am so thankful for all these years of friendship that we've shared. The world is a happier, funnier, and better place because of those rare gifts you've shared with us all. I'm so proud of you. Uh, what an honor to be here celebrating you today, and congratulations on your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Thank you very much, 
to those beautiful words, and uh, I mentioned it, and we match. Before I introduce our second speaker, we have a few chamber VIPs in the audience today. Board members Gloria Dominguez and Nicole Mahalka and Timothy Chang. Our second guest speaker is a writer, comedian, and Emmy-winning actor. He is best known for his standout role in HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm. His extensive work includes The Last OG, Real Husbands of Hollywood, Fairfax, Woke, Spider-Man Far From Home, Date Night, Hall Pass, and many others. Please help me welcome to the stage, J.B. Smooth. Kenan, Dimples, Thompson, you didn't know that was his middle name. <laughs> Get his star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, everybody. Yeah. No, 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 how am I supposed to do that, man? How do I give tribute to a man who embodies comedy from the tip to tip to hip to lip in that short amount of time? You have accomplished so much, man. You know, it's in the purest form of laughter, it's from a child. Well, if that's true, what do you say about someone who's been making us laugh since he was a child? Yes. Yeah. Ken might not remember this, but we worked together on SNL. <laughs> I said he might not remember because he's been on that so damn long. But now, if memory served me correctly, he was in the original Mr. Bill sketch. Like another, like another clay, clay character. <laughs> but, 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 but I am truly honored that Ken asked me to come here and say a few words. Kenny has been on our TV for a good part of our lives, everybody. Amen. You have been making us laugh for decades, and today you are receiving a well-deserved Lifetime Achievement Award, my friend. Yeah. 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 But, but, but while most people get Lifetime Achievement Awards at the end of their life, you are a young man with a whole nother lifetime to live. Yeah. And, and, and while you still look like that kid we met years ago, like you should be still playing with Lego, I'd also like to take a moment 
to recognize one of our Hollywood Chamber of Commerce board members, Sarah Sorrell, who's joining us today as well. <laughs> our third guest speaker is a three-time, five-time Emmy Award nominee, as well as a Writers Guild Award and NAACP Award nominee for her work on Saturday Night Live. She has, been, she has also been honored by Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People. Yes. She is currently starring on the HBO Max series, Our Flag Means Death. She recently starred opposite Eddie Murphy in Coming to America, yes. for which she won the MTV Movie Award and was nominated for a People's Choice Award. Yes. Please welcome our final speaker, Leslie Jones. Yes. <laughs> about this man, okay? Because I need about two years to tell you how I feel about this man, okay? I cannot believe that there was a time that I didn't know you came. When I met him, if I felt like I knew him already for 20 years. That's how sweet and, and welcoming he was. Uh, I, he's the most dependable, sweet, and honorable. Any, any way that you would describe a good person and a good human, and a good man is how I would describe Kenan Thompson. Yeah. And if laughter was to add years to my life, I am going to live to 200 years old. As much as we feel that laugh meter over and over, 100 times over. We would laugh so hard, there would be times that we would look at each other and go, dude, what is wrong with us? Why do they let us in the building? had some great times and some great memories. And Ken, Ken and I want to tell you that I have learned from you immensely, not only to be a better artist, but a better human. And you taught me that. I love you so much, my brother. I love you so much! And I thank you so much, and you deserve this more than anyone I know. You've been in the business since like eight, like eight years old. And you have mastered it. Yes, yes. yes. You have mastered it. So I say very proudly and, and very honored to be here to give my friend this star. Yes. Congratulations, Keenan. Yes. Motherfucking <laughs> kill that shit, Thompson. Yes. Today, we honor one of the funniest and accomplished performers of our time, Kenan Thompson. Great comedians enlightened us with their humor, giving people the freedom to laugh while we learn. And that is what Kenan Thompson has brought us for nearly 30 years. Your career has and will continue to have a lasting impact in American culture, 
that has spanned four presidential administrations and generations to come. And that is why you belong here. You belong here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So, on behalf of the city of Los Angeles, Keenan Thompson, we celebrate you today. We uplift your incredible talent and your contributions that are enjoyed the world over. Keenan Thompson, congratulations.